In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul. This is the good news. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 20, verses 11 through to 18. But Mary stood outside by the tomb, weeping, and as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Then they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Now when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I'll take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Rabbani, which is to say, Teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren, and say to them, I am ascending to my Father, and your Father, and to my God, and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and that he had spoken these things to her. Once again, the readings pertaining to Easter Sunday, the Resurrection. And Mary Magdalene found the tomb empty. We have read other quotes from the Gospels of the other evangelists. They are slightly different. But St. John here is what we read today and of course slightly different to Luke and to Matthew etc. John is saying that she was weeping of course when she saw the empty tomb all these thoughts would have gone through her head what have they done where is he then of course when she saw this man not knowing it was Jesus thought it was a gardener and he asked her well first of all of course he said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? And she was supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. And as soon as that gardener, that she thought, said Mary, she knew straight away, She knew it was Jesus Christ. And as she called him, Rabboni, or teacher, her heart would have been jumping, almost jumping out of her skin. It is the teacher. And of course, straight away, she would be trying to embrace him, to hold on to him. But Jesus said, do not cling to me. For I 
have not yet ascended to my Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and to your God. She then, of course, went straight to tell the disciples what had happened. That she saw Jesus. In days earlier, we read about the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. How they then also saw Jesus. At first, they did not recognize her. We hear much with them. There's just this man asking interesting questions that couldn't quite understand why he didn't know, or they, he didn't know what was being happening. Until the breaking of the bread, they then knew. With Mary Magdalene, it was when. Jesus said, Mary. She then knew. Keeping in mind, of course, Jesus after his resurrection, his glorious resurrection, would not be the same. His body is glorified. Is it like a bright light? glowing and this is what it was like this was also a contributing factor why they did not recognize Jesus can you imagine when the last time you saw Jesus he was on the cross bleeding profusely his skin torn all dirty now he has been glorified he is anew he looks different to when the last time you saw him during this week we see things differently too in a new light that is why it's also called bright week after the resurrection of Christ he is risen things have changed things have changed in our lives too enjoy the week even though it is drawing to a close now but enjoy it we still have days yet before he ascends to the Father on the Ascension Day. We will hear many more stories from the scriptures of what happened before that Ascension Day. Pray to the Holy Spirit that like Mary and like those disciples on the road, your eyes too will see the difference, will see the brightness of the Lord. He is the light in this dark world. Follow it. Follow Jesus. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.